Um, so before anything, very important, um, everything that I'm about to say should be done either in a new browser or a new Chrome profile. Um, please do not use your existing extension. Um, leave that as is, leave it safe. Um, in case there are any problems, we're gonna be releasing some new tools in the next week or so that will help debug and fix those. Um, so please do not touch that for now. Um, do everything either, if you're in Chrome, switch to Brave, install a fresh extension there and try this, um, or do a new Chrome profile like I'm about to show you. So if you wanna do a new Chrome profile, you click this little circle up here and you click add down here and then you pick your color and I'm gonna call this recovery test. And then you're gonna to go to the Chrome store and search for the extension. And then you're gonna install that. And then you're gonna do the setup like you would any new extension. And then when you are done installing it, you're gonna end up on this screen with the big recover right there. So you're gonna click that Then you're going to enter your email and your 2FA. And then you're gonna pick your profile that you wanna recover. So I'm gonna recover this one. So click recover, click import profile. The extension is gonna pop up. Then you're gonna confirm I understand. And you're gonna see this waiting for a profile import transaction. That means that the recovery service is granting your controller permission. Okay, so that means that my profile has been imported and updated. Then what I'd like you to do is do a very simple data change. So go and add a tag or delete a tag or something. Um, click save. Okay, so first of all, if there is still a problem, you will see an error right on the screen. You see I don't have an error, so it looks like it's working pretty well. Then I'm gonna confirm the transaction. Okay, profile has been updated. So no errors. Um, when you run the transaction, you wanna make sure that you're running with the, with the um, relayer, but you, this should also work through an EOA. Um, you, you can try that as well. So yeah, you see I have the relayer here, but you can also try this with a controller key if you'd like. I'm interested in that feedback as well. Both should work. Um, so that's it. Please give this a try. Remember, do not do this in your original extension. Always do this either in a fresh Chrome profile and a fresh install of the extension or in a different browser. And please come give me feedback.